Hello YouTube. In this video I'm going to show you how to perform a clean install of Windows Server 2012 R2 as a core install so it doesn't have the graphical user desktop but you can still com configure everything command line. It is a very powerful cut down smaller version of Server 2012 and doing everything through command line you have just as much control there's just some things that you're going to have to know how to do that you won't be able to just point and click like you can with the full install with the desktop environment. So you'll have to have the installation media in a disk drive or a USB bootable USB drive. Once you boot and boot to it, it'll load up to this screen. Click next after you select your languages and time format and keyboard layout. And then once you come to the next screen, just click install now. So if you have an install media that has multiple versions, you will want to select the core server installation. Click next. Click I accept the license terms. Click next. And then you want to do a custom install. If you already have partitions set up, that's fine. You can delete the partition since this was set up for a previous install of Server 2012. I'm just going to format the partitions. And then on Partition 2, the primary, click Next. Now it's going to copy over the files for the install. It'll uh, expand the files and decompress them. And then it'll set up features, install updates if updates are there, and it can connect to the internet and it's probably going to reboot a few times so just be prepared for that i will see you guys shortly all right it has finished copying over the files and everything so now we're up to the first reboot if you get it i still have the disc in it it says press any key to boot from the cd or dvd do not press anything just let it boot from the hard drive otherwise you're going to restart the install process as you can see, the boot screen is similar to that of Windows 10. Reboot again and again. Do not hit anything whenever it says please press any key to boot from CD or DVD. And now it wants us to set up the administrator. So you're going to want to put in a new password. It does have to be a complex password. It can't be something simple. Once you get it put in, it sets the password. Applies the user settings and now you are officially at the command prompt as administrator and are ready to rock and roll and configure the system you can run ping you can do all kinds of different things so the server is installed and setting there ready and waiting on you this information is out there for absolutely everybody as always watch like and share have a great day